Morning. Morning, Kenneth. Morning. Where are we going today? Um, we're going to do the Carver and Froggy walk today. This is and a I'm lovely walk. I was putting Kenneth's treats in, that's why I stood like that. Yeah. <laughs> Kenneth, look, for those that want to know, has got a, well, he has treats. Sweet potato with chicken and popcorn chicken. There you yeah. go. Look at him looking. It's got, oh, look, he says, oh, you just showed that. <laughs> and I can tell from, there you go. Yeah, we're on the boat at the moment, and um, it's a bit dark. Look, we've got all the curtains this side closed because it's going to be another quite warm day. So we're up nice and early, making sure we're exercising Kenneth out of the heat of the sun. Oh, Are you coming up, Kenneth? There you go, folks. That's the view from the bridge. <laughs> Beautiful sky gonna be another nice day here she is here's the star of the show i mean the star of the show mr bonneville <laughs> <laughs> come on then as i say we will see you in carver well, yeah can we take two sausage and egg muffin meals please what do you drink uh both with lattes can i have one regular and one large though anything else that's fine thanks any sauce for tea? no thank you thank you thanks well, we're not there yet. We have to eat. <laughs> Here we are, folks. This is the start of the walk. We're in our second car today. <laughs> <laughs> no, our um, duster's going down the road soon to a new owner. We're having some wipers fitted on, dust, on disco, aren't we? We are. There you go. That's it. Here we are. Hey. Well, when you say wipers, wiper arms. Wiper arms. Yeah, these here, wiper yeah. arms. That's why, we, uh, that's why we're in duster and not disco. Huh? Come on then, off we Very go. Very good. Off we go. Did you do the mirror? Oh no. Things I have to do, folks, just push the mirror in. Let me explain why. It's because on disco we don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get all posh on us. <laughs> it goes automatically. <laughs> right, as I say, folks, we're here. This is the start of the walk. It's a circular walk. It's about how many miles? Two? Yeah, about two. About, about two, two miles. And half, about two, two and a half. Yeah. Kenneth's got his stick. Yeah, he's ready, look. Off we go. Look at the size of that <laughs> stick, folks. Oh, we yes, can look. Can. There you go. Oh, careful, Mrs. B. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him off. Right, let's let our dog off. There we go. Good oh, lad. Stick. He's got his stick. Hey, look, he's happy. We've done it before. We've done it many times. But it looks so different in summer. To what it does, doesn't winter. it? Yeah. Oh, God. Smelly vision. Wild garlic. Yeah. Yeah, we keep saying we're just going to try a little bit, aren't we? But yeah. Did somebody say that it was a bit too strong? Well, I spoke to someone at work who said it's not as, uh, it's not all that <clears throat> nice, but very, very strong. I don't know if uh, anyone's ever picked or used wild garlic. But uh, we were going to get some the other week, but as I say, I spoke to someone at work who said, oh, don't. But hey, content is king. This is B, what are you looking at? Just been looking at a little bee. Mrs. B looking at a bee. Mrs. Yeah. B looking at a bee? Yeah. Oh. I've just joined the beekeeping group. I'm not a qualified beekeeper, I'm just like a volunteer, but I do have the white suit and everything. <laughs> she does. And I go and, uh, and, I go and help them. Uh, we look at the, the brood and see if we can find the queen and, and all things like that. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I'm, a, I'm a volunteer beekeeper now. <laughs> Get me. Yeah. So it's quite fetching in a white beekeeper outfit. Mm. <laughs> Folks, look, I know content is king. We aren't going to show, but our boy has just produced the biggest number two in the whole world. You could see it from the sky. <laughs> like the Great Wall of China. <laughs> there you go, folks. One of the reasons we bring him here, particularly in this hot weather, our little boy can go and have a little look at him. Hey? Hey, good lad. You cooling off, fella? Honestly, folks, the uh, the walk itself, it's lovely. You stick to the river, basically, on the right-hand side. And you go past some uh, wonderful properties on the left. And as I say, it's just one of those walks that 
Well, it's certainly our favourite for, for Kenneth because it's got everything he likes. It's got woodland and it's got more than anything else. Water down there, look. No words are needed, folks. Welcome to the RHS. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> you have to have a little bit of horticulture in this channel, whether you like it or not. Folks, I don't know what it's like where you are, but we've had a couple of days now of glorious weather, haven't we? Yeah, and I've started leaving my hair to go wild. Oh, I like it. Yeah, see. Don't get me wrong, I like it when it's all architectural, as I call it. But Mrs B's natural state is that look. Look. Are you enjoying that? There's Mrs. B up there, look. Social media in. And there's our dog. He's probably peeing in the water. <laughs> no, he's not. Oh, look, he's cooling down, look. Bless him. As I say, just over there, that's where you come back. It's a circular walk, folks. You honestly can't go wrong. That little clip there. It's one of the, oh, we just love him. Aww. We just love him. He fills our days with just such, oh, love and fun. We just love the little fella. Now then, folks, we're coming up on the left to what could only be described as a, I don't know, it's not even a small holding. Just a little area. Oh, look, there's one. There's one. Chicken, cockerel, hen. <laughs> um, anyway, we're coming up to a, a little area with sheep hens it's just lovely for me that's how all animals should live and for mrs b it's just lovely they've got lovely lovely grass plenty of space all the way up there look i know i'm very naive but all animals should live like that awesome. okay fella what a lovely scene Mrs. B's back there, look, sorting out Canis number twos. <laughs> Bless her. She's the best dog mum in the whole world. <laughs> We've said, haven't we, that um, if ever we got a small holding, or if we couldn't be farmers. No. Because we'd name everything and then we wouldn't be able to do anything with it other than just keep them. Um, Lovely. Look, look at our boy looking as well. Yeah. <laughs> He's going, hello. Hello. Hello, fella. Right, folks. You know what I'm going to say, listen. That's the sound of the countryside. <laughs> Lovely. Look at that, folks. Mum with a load of ducklings, look. Oh, how much you got, love? Oh, look at that. Who's got the best legs, viewers? The guy on the left, or the lady on the right? I think the lady on the right. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I'll pan up to show you the poo bags. <laughs> Unbelievable amount of weight. <laughs> good for your posture, Mrs. B. Yeah, very good. Now then, folks, quick update on the boat, because we know you like us to keep you updated on all things boat. I'm starting soon to do the roof again last year I didn't I started it maybe not too late or whatever but I just didn't get around to giving it two coats so I've got to take it back a little bit and then give it the second coat so I'm going to start that soon um I don't think there's anything else to update on the boat is there no, no, um, no. someone asked us recently on a uh an email or no it was a comment on one of our podcasts why we think about changing the boat no particular reason but we did put on our response um to that lady who thought she's being nosy you're not being nosy no, no, um, so. the new boat would have to tick a lot of boxes in terms of what we've currently got so watch your space right mm. onwards yeah one thing we do know is we're not that keen on getting two beds are we two bedrooms no, no we want the space we want the space so yeah just to answer that uh, comment on the yeah. uh, podcast because we've been we've been We've been mulling a lot of things over, haven't we? We have. We've been mulling park homes, cottages, all it's, sorts of other can things. Can we just confirm it's not going to be park home? No, but uh, but we've decided that that we want to stay on the marina and get a newer boat. Yeah, That's it, really, well, isn't new it? boat. A new boat. If we're going to get one, we'll get a new one. A new boat, um, but with space. But yeah, it's got to have space. So, so just I'll one say. bedroom and a lot of space. A lot of space. Really now cool. then, folks, you get to a certain part of the walk. As I say. 
Uh, there are some wonderful, wonderful properties here with enormous gardens. Beautiful. I've often said to Mrs. B, if you're gonna buy something, buy something like that. Wow, wonderful. As I say, you've still got the river. It's lovely, it really is. Now then folks, we're coming up to a house that's got the most immaculate lawn. And why do you know there's no pets here? Why do you know? <laughs> Look at that green lawn. You know. You know because, sorry, that's Mrs. Bonneville in the background calling Kenneth. Yeah, you know there's no pets here because there's no pea stains in the grass. <laughs> I'd love to let Kenneth off just for a day. <laughs> no, it is. Camera won't. Pick. It's girly. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's female. It's oh, I didn't know that. Leave the yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Do you hear that, folks? It's a female dog that when they pee on the ground or the grass that makes it go all stain and brown. Well, I didn't know that. So it'd be no good letting Kenneth look at her, eh? She thinks she's a right Chris Packham. Google Chris Packham. <laughs> Here we are, folks. You see that bridge through the trees? You see opposite that little pebbly area? That's where we're gonna end up in a minute. Mm -hmm. To spend a few minutes with Kenneth, throwing some more pebbles in the Have river. You released the yeah. The merchandise. <laughs> the merchandise. Know, there's a poo bin just, a poo bin just at the top of this path. The rooks have feel so much worse. <laughs> we will see you on the Pebble Beach, as they say. Goodbye. Oh, it's lovely, folks. Let me just pan round and show you what I'm looking at. I'll just zoom out. I should say zoom out, not zoom in. I'm sat on a bench. Let me just stand up and show you the bridge. If we can see some of it. There it is, look. Lovely. Really is beautiful. <laughs> As I say, Kenneth would spend all day in the water. Now then folks, we're reaching the end of this little walk, but we have got one little update, haven't we, Mrs. B? Yeah. Because you went, where did you go? Well, there's a houseboat on the marina and it hasn't been used for a long time. And we bought it. We <laughs> didn't. Um, I went to a beekeepers meeting there uh, and I'll put a little bit of footage in here so you can see. What they're doing is they're going to actually knock down all the walls inside the house and create one large room. So the houseboat. And the houseboat. So what you're looking at is the houseboat in the current state. Very so, nice. Uh, have a look at you. Hey, I'd have a houseboat. And we got a houseboat, let us know. I Ooh. really liked it. Yeah. And I can see through. And I like the idea of them knocking it through into one big open space. Yeah. But yeah, well, what do you think? There's going to be some uh, some building work taking place yeah. on the marina. There's all sorts of things happening. And one of the places where we usually meet to have the bingo and the quiz and things like that, which is the Willow Tree Cafe, that's coming down for a short period of time. So we need somewhere where we can meet up and do these things. Right, well, we'll wish you all the best for this week, won't we, Mrs yeah. B? Hope you've enjoyed it. As I say, next week, same usual ramblings <laughs> so stick around stay tuned for brilliant a1 content as they say and we'll see you next week say goodbye mrs b see you next week say goodbye mrs b goodbye, mrs. B. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>
seen some little swans. Seen some swans. I've fin videoed the swans. We'll have a little look here. On a boat. Hello, fella. Don't look at that. How beautiful. She's got one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. My two hours per week of rest and relaxation from hey. you being go. a husband. And, uh, and I'm not allowed in that, that area no, there, am I? well deck is all mine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not allowed in there. Goodbye. I don't really want to go in there anyway. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye. And if we bought a houseboat, I'd definitely take it out. You can see, folks, our little dog is ready to spring into action. Yeah. I almost didn't come those steps to come yeah. down those. Cut. I almost didn't come. Lucky. <laughs> Look at us finishing off each of the sentences. <laughs> you tell we're married. <laughs> off camera, Mrs. Bonneville's knees just popped. <laughs> oh, tell you. <laughs> the aging process. <laughs> Mrs. B, look, she's look at me longingly like she looks at her phone. <laughs> we'll see you back on the walk. We've got to get up there now. Mm. When you get like a conference pair like Mrs. B. <laughs> Don't look, because that'll start sticking. Listen, cock a doodle do. <laughs> cock a doodle do to you, Mrs. B. <laughs> Goodbye.